So you're considering buying or investing in the Tampa Bay area? Whether you're a first time home buyer or a seasoned investor, the process can be a little bit daunting. And that's why I put together my top tips to help you navigate the Tampa Bay housing market and find the perfect home for you. If you're new here, my name's Juan Alcala. I'm a licensed real estate agent and I help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest in the Tampa Bay area. We make videos all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. If you're into that type of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that little bell. That way you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Or if you know somebody who's considering making the move to the area, do not hesitate to share this channel with them. I'm sure they would thank you uh, for that share. All right, I'd love to kick this off by sharing our journey and our story. And if you've been watching this channel, you follow this at all, you know that we relocated here. We're now celebrating our fifth year in the Tampa Bay area. And it's just been such a wonderful transition for our family. We're from the Detroit metro area originally. And I've shared my story many times on this channel before, but I'd love to share it again just for anyone who's considering making that jump because it can be a very overwhelming task. I remember what it was like for us. There weren't channels like this that helped us really clarify what could be the best communities or what the best areas were or where not to go right everything was old school you jump on google and you know what's the best place you know you look at rankings you look at forums you're just trying to get an insight and when we were first considering making that move we weren't dead set on tampa as a matter of fact it was our last choice and um, when i say that i mean it was the last place on my list we looked at areas like jacksonville we looked at the uh, stewart port st lucie area we considered orlando so Miami was really never on the list for us. We had visited there a bunch of times and we just didn't feel from a cultural perspective it was the right fit for us. We had a young family and uh, you know, Miami's a live city, it's a great area. You know, if you're a young working professional, maybe that's your vibe. But for us, it just wasn't a really good fit. And Tampa was kind of last on that list. And we did all of our homework, right? I looked at things like job growth and uh, real estate growth. But the big thing that we were looking at was the, the age. What we didn't want to do was move to Florida and um, move to a community that was full of retirees. And there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe that's exactly what you're looking for. We serve a lot of clients like that. That. But for us, we had a young family and we homeschool. So, you know, we already figured our kids were going to be a little weird because they were homeschooling. The last thing we wanted to do was stick them in a community where, um, you know, there was nothing but retirees. <laughs> so we had to be mindful of that. So we did our homework, you know, and we started shopping these communities. We spent a week in Jacksonville and, you know, we did it in January on purpose because we were coming from Detroit and we were leaving the cold. We, we didn't want to be anywhere where we had the potential to be really cold again in the week that we were there of course it was freezing cold so we immediately were able to knock that off the list we got to Orlando and it was crazy overwhelmingly busy traffic was nuts they're building everywhere and you could tell the city is not even close to being what it's going to end up being in the future and we're not really theme park people so it just didn't make a lot of sense and in my mind you know both my wife and I uh, my wife and me are we're beach babies we were coming to florida to be by the water so it was really hard for us to just even wrap our mind around being in orlando if you're not a beach baby and that doesn't matter orlando might be a really good fit for you and that's okay too but for us we really wanted that water so now we're looking at the uh, you know stewart port st Lucie area and my father-in-law lives in jensen beach which is in that area too but we just never really love the beaches they're beautiful they're nice but the sand reminded us of the lake sand back home in Michigan and and having young kids and being on the Atlantic Ocean it is I mean, I don't know if you know this, but like the tides get crazy. Um, the ocean can be a little bit, um, it can be overwhelming at times. And there's a lot of marine uh, life there that uh, is big. <laughs> and it made my wife really uncomfortable. And last on our list was Tampa. And we had, I had come here for a marketing conference once before and it, it caught our eye. The beach was beautiful. Unfortunately, at that time, Kate was, she was sick with a fever 
Um, my daughter Eva was sick with the fever at that time too. Kate was like five months pregnant, so she didn't really get to enjoy it. But I was like, man, this could be something we really, we could really enjoy. So we came back as a family, spent some time here, and we absolutely fell in love with the area. Obviously, we've got beautiful white sandy beaches. You know, you got Clearwater Beach, St. Pete Beach, Tampa proper. It's a great big little city is what I call it. Um, it lots of culture, um, diverse in Tampa, very, very exciting. And we we just fell in love with it and we never wanted to leave but we had the same problem that most of you face which is how do we accomplish this now i think i had it easy i'm a licensed real estate agent i've been through hundreds of transactions i know what to look for in inspection reports and i understand how to, to judge houses for what they are but I don't know the community, right? I didn't know that when we were coming down here. I had to trust my real estate professional. And I gotta be honest, I didn't know him prior to coming down here. We didn't have these videos. I wasn't able to build that relationship. So I had to do the vetting process like I would it, it would for any other relocation client and, and really trust that professional. And we flew down. Um, spent an entire weekend looking at houses. We wrote offers that didn't get accepted because that's what was going on in the marketplace at that time. We flew back home, didn't find a house. I flew back down the following week, wrote offers that didn't get accepted, uh, flew back up and I was like, look, I'm not doing this anymore. I called my agent, I'm like, these are the houses that we wanna see, take me FaceTime and then we'll just write offers accordingly. And we got one accepted and man, are, were we completely blessed. We showed up and our neighbors welcomed us with open arms. It was really weird. It was almost like a scene out of a movie. It was absolutely incredible. I know what you're thinking right now. Juan, what does this have to do with the tips? I'm going to get into this, but I wanna share this with you because I understand and I empathize with anyone who is trying to relocate and you, maybe you don't have that person. Maybe you don't have family here, but you know this area is calling you. What I want to do is, is help you understand that I understand that process. Um, and again, we didn't have videos like this to help us through this, but I want you to know that we're here. If you have any questions, please feel free to put those in the comments below. Um, we're here. All of my contact information is down there as well. Do not hesitate to reach out. My phone number is there for a reason. There's actually a calendar link where you can schedule time to jump in on a Zoom call. I'd be more than happy to jump in and talk about how to make this a reality for you. And if you're an investor, know that we help with that too. We've got clients that buy multifamily, single family, Airbnb. We do all of those things. Okay. So I just wanted to kind to give you guys a little bit of backstory so you can understand that we've been this road as well before I give you my tips. I'm giving you my tips based upon my experience, right? So I just wanted to make sure you guys know that as we get started. So tip number one is actually, I think one of the most important, and that's why I'm putting it number one. You gotta know your budget. And you know, sometimes when people are moving from you know the Pacific Northwest, let's say they're coming from Seattle or San Diego, they're looking at uh, you know Tampa Bay and going, man, real estate is cheap. Or maybe you live in you know rural Mississippi where you're looking at Tampa Bay and now you're going, man, real estate is expensive. For you, if you're considering buying or investing in the area, the first thing that I would recommend you to do is, is reach out to you know a, a great lender. Now, you can do that one of two ways. You can look up lenders online. You can, of course, go the online route. I don't necessarily um, encourage people to do that because online lenders don't have a feel for what's happening on the ground. But you can also reach out to licensed real estate professionals. Maybe you already have an agent you know, in, in Florida or in Tampa that's gonna serve you. If not, I'd be more than happy to do that. We love doing that for you guys. But we'd be also more than happy to help refer you to mortgage professionals, regardless of whether you use us or not. So don't hesitate to do that. And the reason that I say that is because someone who is actually here, boots on the ground, understands culturally what happens, you know, contractually what happens, and they really have a handle on it. But for you as the consumer, you really wanna know your numbers. Because at the end of the day, a bank is going to lend you, right, everything that you can borrow from them. And maybe that's not what you're interested in. Maybe you have an ideal budget in mind, which you should, and I would encourage you to do that. And the bank's willing to lend you way more than that. But once you are able to get a handle on, okay, this is what I can afford, or this is what I'm willing to spend, now you can really approach it in a very unique manner. Because when you call us, Right, we're gonna go right into what I'm gonna call tip number two, is we're gonna say that you need to really start doing your research on communities. And this, this is where people really, really struggle. And um, I know I did, right? Because at the end of the day, the best thing any real estate professional can do for you, okay, and you can do for yourself, is shop the right community. 
The thing that happens with real estate is if you get the community right, and what I mean by that is if you can find the community that supports your ideal lifestyle, right? Safety, schools, um, outdoor living. People come to Florida because they want to be outdoors and they want to live that. Are you a boater? Are you an angler? You know, do you kayak? Do you paddleboard? Are you a beach baby? Do you not really care about that? Would you rather be in the suburbs, right? Do you need things that are new? Do you have want to have the best schools? Do you want to be around the communities with the highest status? All of these things are actually the most important thing to you as a buyer. Once you clearly identify these and you know exactly what you're looking for, the houses typically will literally pop out, meaning that they'll show up, they'll arrive. And any good real estate professional um, can help you buy and sell real estate. That's not what, what you're trying to do here. You need somebody that can help guide you to the best communities. So again, tip number two, you need to, to really be dialed in on it. And you can do that through videos just like this, okay? We have an entire playlist. If you go to our channel, you will see you know community after community after community, vlog style tour where we went out, looked at houses, we've, we've showed the amenities in the communities. And there are other channels like this, right? That you could, maybe you resonate or connect with and you really feel like that person is there to help you, reach out to them. I would encourage you to do this because this is about you and no one else you should never ever feel like someone's trying to sell you something you've already made a decision that you either want to buy or invest in the tampa bay area our job any good real estate professional is just to be a guide if you're getting any value out of this do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button and click that like button to let lets other people know that this video is valuable and again feel free to share this with somebody who you know is looking to make that move and that leads us right into tip number three for today and that is hire a great real real estate professional. Not a good one, a great one. And what do I mean by that? A great real estate professional can help you navigate the challenges. Here's what I got to say. There was a lot of things that I didn't know about Florida real estate yet, right? We're selling it now. We've been here for five years, but I didn't understand the nuances and the subtleties regarding inspections in Florida because we have hurricanes here, y'all, right? We have strong winds and tropical, tropical storms that can get pretty aggressive, right? And, you know, housing has to be able to stand up to that. Well, the building codes were way different than they were back home in Detroit to me. You know, we've got things like termites here and wood destroying organisms, which I did not have up there because we had freezes every year, wasn't a problem. Um, we have wind mitigation inspections and four point inspections, and those weren't in common practice to me. Um, so I had to learn about those things too. And you know, what are some of the challenges that you face? You know, there are sinkholes in Florida. Okay, well, what does that mean to me as a buyer? And, you know, water reliction and all these weird terms that, that you're just, maybe you're not used to seeing. And having somebody who can help guide you through that process is super important. They need a strong team behind them, not only lending, but I'm talking about inspections, contractors, people that you would need, right? If you are considering buying, maybe you're buying a home that isn't perfect, that you want renovated. Well, you need somebody who can guide Guide you to people who can help you execute on those dreams or maybe you're an investor again you need a team of people behind you and this is why hiring a great real estate agent is so important and again I'd be more than happy to interview for it but if we're not your cup of tea again there are other great professionals in the Tampa Bay area who can help serve those needs for you but do not hesitate to reach out all the contact information is listed down below and our number four tip of the day and our final tip is be prepared to act fast the thing that I see and especially right now because the market is changing and you know I'll get phone calls and people are calling me and acting like it's 2008 and I got news for y'all it ain't right um, I'll put the chart up here on what's happening in the Tampa Bay market we are still a very competitive market at the time of this recording um, the Tampa Bay market is up 10.6 percent year over year in a declining market now we're trending down but we got a long way to go before we're even back to 2022 pricing if we ever make it there and the projections are they're not necessarily leaning that way. But more importantly, a lot of our clients are coming here because they get to not have to. And this is their dream. And what happens is we'll see properties and you know they might be exactly what they're looking for. And maybe in their home market, they're able to you know take a day or two and think about it. And you don't always get that option here. And I'm not saying it's not possible, but you need to be aware when you're working with a great professional, they can give you guidance on, hey, nope, you have time or no, you need to act quick because this is unique. What you're looking at, what we've identified here is a great property. And there are many other people with cash 
who want to do the same thing you do. Mr. and Mr. Buyer, if you're looking for a condo on the beach, you know, there are, are always people buying and selling on those beaches or near the beach. So, you know, be prepared to act fast. Know that, you know, Airbnbs are not legal in every single beach community. You need somebody who can guide you through that process and identify what properties actually will work for your goals. So these are important things that you want to make sure that you're looking out for and just being able to act fast. And that goes all the way back to the first one right making sure that you have a budget make sure that you have your financing in order these are some of the most crucial things when it comes to buying a home in the tampa bay area and listen i hope this video helped we make videos all things tampa bay i'm going to put two more here that i think will absolutely help you do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions put the comments below contact information's down there too and until next time go out and live that tampa life